terms of what we're actually here, it's, it's really to discuss some of the fundamental concepts that underpin the emerging practice of biophilic design. Now, when I say emerging, you know, it's, there's been a discourse for over 35, 40 years on this, but I guess it's really just kind of hit the mainstream um, over the past couple of years. Um, E.O. Wilson um, first coined the phrase biophilia. In his work, he wrote about how we as human species have been hunters and gatherers for most of our existence on Earth. While we were hunters and gatherers, we were very focused on having prospect and refuge, being able to have safe spaces, and how we interact with the natural environment. Tests and um, research has shown that one of the most comfortable settings for us is what we call the savanna vista. And that's where we're on somewhere with a little bit of height. We've got security behind us, which could be forest or an outcrop or something like that. But what we can do is we can see quite a distance. And that enables us to see danger or see opportunity. Danger in whether it was a predator or opportunity in whether it was feed for us as well. Now we still have these things ingrained within ourselves. So biophilia tries to tap into those subconscious feelings. Dr. Stephen Keller, then a professor at Yale, worked with E.O. Wilson to relate the concept of biophilia to the built environment, and two important books defining these concepts um, by E.O. Wilson um, is the, firstly the biophilia hypothesis and then the um, biophilia itself. 99% of projects we get to work on with people, they've already designed the thing, yeah, or they've designed something. That's all right. Um, actually, we take what's already been done in the project and say, can we optimize and enhance and almost explode some of these brilliant ideas that you've got hidden? Taking some of that you know, learning to walk experience outside and working across different levels, bringing in natural tones and light and air and all these things, you know, we've got a few things that we'll show later in case studies, but all those things have been proven to help make us feel more comfortable in our environments and therefore either respond better, be more productive or actually just be healthier.